Hello. Let's take a deep breath. In. And out. Push the elbows backward. Bring the hands in the front. Raise. Push up. Bring the head forward. Lower your arms. Lower the wrist. Imagine that you're holding a ball. Interlace the fingers at the chest level. Turn the palms out. Push up. Turn the head forward. Separate the fingers. Let it down. And again, interlace the fingers, straighten your knee, turn the palm, breathe in, push your arms completely straight, turn your head, look up, your hand, turn the head, look forward, separate the fingers, drop your wrists, Sorry. And one more time. Then the head move forward. Separate the fingers. Drop your palms. And here. Second exercise now, I'm going to move a little bit on the side. If you don't have enough space, you might move as well. So we start on the right side, we cross, and we slightly slide the foot on the side. We push the palm, we bend three fingers, so the palm will be like this, on the side. Here we're going to close the fingers and we bend the knees and turn the head. Breathe in and out, contra uh, relax, relax breathing, abdominal. And here we are. I'm going to turn the palm, straighten this leg, bring it close. Yeah. And then this side, the same thing. I cross the arms. The arm that goes on the side will be in the front. Slide my foot. Push the hand on the side. Bend the fingers. The other hand. Here it's straight like I put a plateau. And turn my head. Bend my knees and hold it for three seconds. My breathing is abdominal. Relax. I straighten my fingers, I turn the palm, rotate, drag the foot, once again, and we will do it one more time on each side, slide the foot, and once again. Next movement, as we come to initial position, we're going to start on the left side, raising the palm, 
Now the palm will follow my midline, the midline of the body. And here, I'm going to turn. Push up all the way, and down. The palm here is pushing up, the other one down, the body is straight, knees are straight, back straight, eyesight looking forward, and release. Slide it, and come to the other side. And release. One more time on each side. And release. And the other side. And release. Exercise number four. We're going to push the elbows on the side. Open the arms. Knees are straight. And turn to maximum. And we turn the head. First to the left. And then we relax. You observe that when I relax, I slightly bend my knees. As soon as I start to straighten my arms and turn my head, my knees are straight. Yet I'm still breathing in a relaxed way. Always through the nose, in and out. Now I relax my muscles. And once again on each side. Very good, my dear friend. I will have to to bring it that Qigong was successfully used in China for coronavirus. If we've done it well, it's an amazing form of exercise to help with health and immune system. This being said, let's see the fifth exercise. Now the exercises, they start to be a little bit more difficult. So, as I'm here with the feet apart, shoulder width distance, I'm going to slide my right foot, raise my hands completely, and then bend my knees. We're going to, to try first the uh, easier form. So bend my knees and put my hands here on the thighs, a little bit above the knee. Then I come up straight. I am going to bend on the left side, bring my body to the right, and here I will push my shoulder back, my head back, and come up straight. And sit once again. Very good. Just one second, please. I'm going to close here. So, sorry. So, let's repeat. I'm here. I'm coming straight, bending my body. And now, as you see, my eyesight will see my little toe. Push. I, I, I'm sorry, I said I'm going to explain in French. So, I'll explain it. Uh, 
So, le regard va être sur le, la petite orteille et je vais faire le tour de mon pied jusqu'au talon avec le regard en déplaçant le corps de droite à gauche. À la fin, je vais pousser l'épaule vers l'arrière, je tourne la tête vers l'arrière et aussi automatiquement, tout mon corps va se redresser. Donc, en essayant de faire ça et ça, automatiquement, en tirant vers l'arrière, le corps se redresse, le torse. Et à la fin, je relâche. Donc, je vais essayer de l'autre côté. Ah. Je fais le contour de mon pied avec le regard jusqu'au talon. Donc, on va essayer ensemble. Donc, je penche, ce jambe devient droite. Je fais le contour du pied avec mon regard en déplaçant le corps vers l'autre côté. À la fin, je pousse l'épaule, la tête, je redresse et je descends. Ok, nous allons essayer de l'autre côté. Donc, je penche. Mon genou est plié, je fais le contour de pied avec mon regard. Là, je vais pousser vers l'arrière l'épaule, la tête du tour vers l'arrière. Petit détail. Ici, quand je suis comme ça, je ne tourne jamais la tête comme ça. Parce que c'est contre la direction de, 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 de mouvement. Donc, c'est toujours comme ça, vers l'intérieur. Ici, vers l'intérieur. Pour redresser le corps au centre. Ok. Nous allons pratiquer maintenant deux fois de chaque côté. Essayez. L'autre côté. Et on va répéter encore une fois. Très, très bien. Cet exercice sont aussi sur ma chaîne vidéo, donc si vous regardez les vidéos, vous allez le trouver. Merci. Now we're going to go back to Tai Chi. So we saw last time movement number three. If I am to remind you, let's say from the white train, spreading its wing, I'm going to lower the hand that was up, turn my body, bring my foot here, and then advance on the heel. My hand will go towards the knee while the other hand will push forward. So it, this movement, movement number three, it's uh, brush the knee and push forward with the opposite hand, leg and opposite hand. Okay, very good. Now uh, the purpose of this course is to see how we can practice to left and to right without any difficulty. So let's see, from the beginning. Up. So we're going to do a small step to the left. Take a deep breath in and out. So on your knees and hips. Now at this point, the buttocks should be relaxed, okay? Not squeeze that. Very good. Excellent. Now, here, I'm going to make a ball, okay? It doesn't matter on which side. 
If I decide to start with my left, I'm going to make the ball on the right, okay? And bring my left foot here. No problem. If I decide to go on the left, the same thing. I'm going to do the ball on the left and start with my right foot. So let's say I will start with my left foot. In Tai Chi, we start with the left. Here. I'm going to step on the heel. Then the arm that's, the hand that's low down will go up, while the other one goes up. They move in a contradictory direction. Tai Chi is always like this. I shift the weight to the back, turn the foot, and voila, I'm here. I can continue on the other side, the same thing. As you can see, especially in Yang style, it's very easy to switch from one side to the other because the movements are quite symmetric. So let's see the second movement. We chain the first with the second. I'm going to step on the left, take a deep breath. At this point, always my shoulders are down, my elbows are down, and I'm going to relax my hips and knees and breathe out. Just let the air go up. I'm going to make the ball here on the right. And step with my left foot on the heel. As I turn, you see, the leg is straight, so it's like a pivot. I'm going to turn. But since the foot is down, I cannot turn the leg, so automatically my trunk will turn. As my trunk turns, it drives the rear foot. One hand goes down, one hand goes up. If I bend a little bit forward, the rear foot will come close. Then this hand will go down, turning the palm towards the floor. The other one will go up. And then I slightly step on the side. Now my weight is on the rear leg. So the front foot and leg, they are soft. And turn forward. Automatically, this is the second movement, white crane, threaded wings, exactly like a bird. Let's try on the other side. Pretty easy. I step. Raise my arms, breathe in, abdominally. I force my diaphragm down. Then, with my elbows down, shoulders down, I soften my hip and my knees. Turn the foot, like in Chen style, and make the ball. Bring the other foot on the toe. Now this leg is relaxed, the other one holds the body roll. Step on the heel. And now, trying to pivot and lowering the foot, automatically I'm here, facing the arm and dragging the rear foot. As I incline a little bit, the rear foot will come close. And at this point, I'm going to lower this hand, the other one comes in the front. Why it comes in the front? To protect me, okay? Yeah. Here, always keep the elbow down. The other one goes to the side, beside the hip here, and step side, and I'm voila. This is the white frame present. So let's try without work, just practice together. First we're going to step with the left side, then the right side. Pretty simple. Let's see the third movement and how we change the other. So while I'm here, I'm going to drop this hand.
Yes? We saw this last time. Very interesting. And now let's see how is the, the succession of movements from one side and the other. So first I'm going to start on my left side. Very good. And now the other side. I start with my right foot. Step one. Lower the hand. Let's repeat once again. So let's start with the left side. Take a deep breath in and out. Down to the side. Step with the left foot. Very simple. So, let's start one more time on the other side. Right side. Take a deep breath in and out. I have my right foot on the front. Step on the side. Bring the rear foot. Lower my hand. Ah. Since we still have time, I would like to show you the fourth movement today, which is going to repeat the next time on. So from here, same thing. I will incline forward, bring the rear foot backward a little bit while lowering the front hand. The lower hand comes up and stepping onto the gear. That's pretty simple. So let's try doing on this on one side and the other side the same way. Let's start with the left side. Deep breath. Relax the hips, glutes, knees. Let's do the ball on the right side. Step with the left foot on the hip. Raise the arm. Bring the right foot. At this point, when the hand goes up, we drop the, the front leg. Turn the palm. Step forward and forward. Bring the rear foot. Balance backward, lower the hand, bring the other one up, and step onto the hip. And the other side. Step to the right. Take a deep breath in, and up. Hold the ball to the left, so we can step with the right foot. Step onto the hip. One. Bring the rear foot, palm goes up, step side. Drop the hand, step forward. Bring the rear foot, 
lower the hand, raise the other hand, step onto the feet. Very easy, very simple, and quite a lot of coordination and balance. Let's repeat one more time, we still have time. Let's start with the left. Drop the hand. At this point, drag the foot backward, step onto the heel, push forward. Bring the rear foot. You observe that here the hand that's in a higher position, it's the same side hand with the, the leg that's in the front. The other one, will protect this area. Down. Let's try the other side. So step to the right. Take a deep breath in and out. Third. Right foot. Bring the left foot. Third. Step sideways on a toes. Drop, step forward, push, bring the rear foot, lower your hand, raise the other hand, step onto the hip. This uh, routine of four movements is the beginning of the Tai Chi first uh, action of 24 movements, Yang Stan. Next time, we might going to see the fourth and fifth movement together. Thank you very much for your attention. If you can give a like or subscribe. And see you next Tuesday. All the best. Enjoy life.